Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel, and welcome back to Fenton Forest Farm. My name is Jerry, and thank you so much for coming back for another episode here on this wonderful, wonderful map. Now, just as we were in the second episode, we're still doing the sandbox thing where we're just kind of having fun. This is kind of me getting back into the swing of things and trying my darndest to actually fall in love with farm sim 19 and kind of get back into the whole uh, groove with my farm sim thing uh, we did make a small change which really and truthfully uh, doesn't really matter since we're doing sandbox here because we're just throwing money into the wind here so to speak but we did swap out that chevrolet uh, truck with this dodge ram um, this is a sweet looking uh, piece, of, piece of kit here for sure and the other thing is we'll notice that it's not as loud it's not as loud so um, I okay so in the real world I am recording this on Tuesday evening the 29th of January and when I launched uh, Farm Sim 19 there was a update um, that came down from Steam. Now I do not know what that update contained. It did not appear to change my version number. My version number is still uh, one dot, I don't know, one dot three dot one or one dot two dot one, something like that. Uh, I keep track of that in my mod spreadsheet, and um, the version number did not change from the last time that there was an update. So. Uh, not sure what's going on with that, um, but hey, we'll just um, we'll just kind of go with it. I'm sort of wondering though if they've made some changes to the audio, to the sounds uh, of the game. Boy, that uh, Firestone uh, tire looks a little worse to beware. Um, so here is a brand new addition to the map, and that is this wonderful John Deere 9560R. Uh, 9R series tractor man this thing is fantastic it looks good it performs really well and guess what um, unlike maybe some of the other models of this uh, type the the 95 uh, series for farm sim 17 this one AI workers seem to uh, work well with it now I don't know about course play yet um, because I haven't had a chance to really test out course play Again, course play was updated um, from the previous uh, from the previous version that I was on just on uh, Monday night, and um, and so it's been updated. So I did take the update. I've got it, but I've not done anything with course play. Uh, I think maybe I'll see what it's looking like maybe this weekend. Now, um, not sure if you would actually plant oats with this particular cedar, but again. Uh, since we are in sort of sandbox mode and just kind of having fun, um, I just kind of thought that I would go ahead and give this a go. Now we need to plant, um, I could actually do a little bit better job I think of getting us squared up with the world here. I think that's one of the things that I miss about GPS is, um, is the ability to uh, get that going. So we'll, we'll just kind of uh, uh, work with this here and we'll go ahead and lower it turn it on and we're going to start planting oats because um, we actually need to of course these articulating tractors um, kind of are a little hard to make go in a straight line so as much as I like the looks of this thing um, it may uh, it may prove to be a little more than I can actually handle without uh, without course play but um, or without the GPS mod that is but uh, but hey, we'll uh, we'll endeavor to give it our best try here and see what we can do. I think this may be actually kind of a short episode. Uh, not real sure if I have a whole lot to talk about. There was a couple of things that I wanted to mention. Now, again, this is the test two version of Fenton Forest Farm, and we heard from Stevie today, and basically this will be the final testing version of this map until until Giants releases their much awaited, much anticipated, and my gosh, fingers crossed, um, update patch uh, that will fix a million and one different things that we're all somewhat um, uh, fussing over. 
uh, maybe even including some of the sound issues but the sound has seemed to change and I maybe it's just I don't know maybe my ears are stopped up we've had uh, some really weird uh, weather the last couple of days we've had uh, January has been the most snowiest January that I can remember in quite a long time we've almost had a snowstorm uh, every um, every week or at least once a week sometimes twice a week we got about six to eight inches yesterday and the temperature was super cold this morning it was about seven degrees when I left to uh, Fahrenheit to go to the office at about 530 this morning and uh, it never got above freezing it was around 20 at lunchtime and uh, interesting thing I, I, I moved offices um, about two months ago and um, um, the office that they that they put me in um, is got something wrong with the uh, with the heater it must do because I've reported it a couple of times to facilities and they just cannot seem to get this thing right and so I finally broke down and went out and got a small little space heater and well it's kind of um, it's kind of against office uh, rules but I just cannot function when I can't type my fingers were so cold today I was sitting there with my jacket on um, and um, I just I can't cope that way so I broke down at lunchtime and I swung by Lowe's and picked up a very small space heater and I'll be very careful with it of course um, that's just the kind of guy that I am but it at least putting it under my desk it kind of kept my uh, kept my legs warm and it uh, actually the heat was able to uh, radiate up enough and it only ran for like uh, maybe 15 or 20 minutes every every couple of hours it would kick in and that was just enough to keep me uh, keep me warm but uh, as I was saying this will be the last version of the testing map until after Giants releases this much anticipated patch now this patch could come tomorrow it could come um, I suppose in a couple of weeks we really don't know I suppose um, is the uh, the long um, long and short of it but uh, that's good news because that more or less means that uh, Stevie was able to resolve most of all the issues that was sort of wrong with this map as we kind of veer to the left there we'll kind of get try to get straightened back up again um, and that's good news because I know myself I've spent a great deal of time on both the first version of this map as well as the second version and I've had the second version now for a couple of days probably about 72 hours or so about three days or so and have logged about six or seven maybe eight hours on this particular version and have found no problems whatsoever uh, with it as a matter of fact it is just uh, fantastic um, just as we would expect from a Stevie map now um, as I sort of segue into the next uh, topic of discussion um, you know I mentioned something the other day maybe in the first video I was talking about some things uh, kind of getting on my soapbox just a little bit and um, and I said you know I, I, I said something about that this was not really going to be a rant against Giants and that you know we basically saved that for uh, save that for another time because obviously there's always uh, things to kind of rant um, about uh, Giants on and but one thing that I heard um, actually I heard this yesterday and and of course I recorded episode number two um, yesterday on Monday evening and here I am recording episode number three uh, the evening directly after and again I'm really having uh, a struggle uh, driving in a straight line here but anyway um, I had heard through um, through some forum posts and such that um, Giants is very very close very very close to announcing the first DLC for Farm Sim 19 now ladies and gentlemen again I don't want to hate too much on Giants but oh my gosh um, can your can your PR can your public relations group um, not help you out just a little bit I mean there are so many problems with farm sim 19 uh, I think you know I think we can all agree that um, when and of course my introduction to the farm sim franchise was with 15 as I've mentioned many many times um, 17 when it came out yes it had some opportunities uh, we'll call them opportunities. That's that's a kinder 
that's a kind of kinder way of addressing issues and stuff like that. But now keep in mind, I suppose we could all say that because Giants released Farm Sim 17 in late October, and they didn't release 19 until a little after mid-November. It was right before Thanksgiving, if I remember correctly. Um, and then, of course, that butts right up against the holidays. And, and, you know, so Giants, the employees of Giants have every right to celebrate the holidays, just like I do or you do or whatever. Um, so it's quite possible that because of the late um, arrival of Farm Sim 19 and the holidays and everything, that that has actually caused a little bit of an impact as far as the updates and those kind of things are concerned because I did I did hear that you know basically giants let their employees have off um, uh, for the holidays and everything and of course as I said that's the right thing to do um, but so here we are we're talking about a rumor is very strong that giants is about to announce the first DLC for farm sim 19 now this could just simply be an announcement it could just simply be that, you know, they're planning on having the first DLC. This is what the DLC is going to be. And it will be available in late March or April or May or June or whatever the case might be. But to me, DLC means Giants wants more of my money. Okay. Um, but quite honestly, Giants don't come asking for more money from me until you address some of the problems that is in the base game of Farm Sim 19. And kind of before I got off on that subject, I was uh, talking just a few seconds ago about the fact that with Farm Sim 17, there were some issues initially upon release, but they addressed that, I think, within the first patch. And um, we've already had at least one patch, maybe two patches from Giants uh, for, for 19. But my, what, what, what I'm getting at here is that Farm Sim 17, fairly soon after release, was, in my opinion, superior to that of Farm Sim 15. Uh, I cannot say that about 19 at this particular point in time. I know a lot of folks have gone back to 17. Uh, of course, a lot of maybe some of those reasons are because they just cannot play without the Seasons mod, and I can certainly understand that. It, it is a little bit of a struggle uh, to do so. Um, but um, the, I think the point is is that Giants has a lot of work to do. They, they need to address some things. There's some issues with some of their in-game uh, seeders and stuff like that that aren't that's not functioning the way that it's supposed to. There's there's some problems with the with the sound. Um, actually, the sound actually is quite poor if you if you kind of think about it. The skies are were supposed to be so fantastic, and sometimes they are, and sometimes they're not. And um, I just think that there's a lot of things that needs to be done in the game to bring the game up to a standard where we can all say wow fantastic this is great this is what we thought it was going to be and then giants can come and try to sell us something additional for the game and i'm i'm all in support of buying dlc i i, I try to buy um i think so far since i have been a giants farm simulator customer so but with 15 17 and now 19 i have purchased every um every DLC that they have put out. Um, I have done the same, I think, with ATS. Um, ETS 2, I've bought all the scenery DLCs that they've put out. Uh, I haven't, I don't, I actually, obviously, I don't, I don't buy all the, the trailer skins and all those kind of things because I'm just really not interested in that. But, but I, I believe in supporting these developers through purchasing the DLC because in, in actuality, um, the DLC, the sales from the DLC, while it's not a whole lot of money, it does help to continue to fund and keep the lights turned on and keep the development and everything like that uh, going. And obviously that ties into the future of this game or of that game or whatever. But, um, you know, I still, I'm, I'm going to stand by what I say that, you know, the DLC could be super 
um, super fantastic, super f fragilistic, whatever uh, that is. It could be super fantastic, but uh, they're not going to get my money until this thing is um, is running where it's supposed to be. In other words, it needs to be greater than Farm Sim 17. It needs to have some of these issues worked out so that uh, I will feel a little bit more comfortable in then giving Giants a little bit more money. And, and I'm hoping that the that the DLC will be something special, uh, something that um, you know we haven't seen yet. Um, I doubt very seriously if it would be a map or anything like that. And quite honestly, I think that um, I don't think most people would be interested in buying uh, a DLC map. Of course, obviously, sometimes, and I think history uh, will tell us that probably next year, next summer, about the halfway point or something, uh, there might be. A DLC or an expansion pack or something that Giants would release that would have a new map in it. We have saw that with uh, Farm Sim 15 with Sosnovka and then we saw that last time with 17 with the South American map. So who knows, but most likely this is going to be you know, an equipment DLC or something like that. And that's all fine and good and I, I support that and I'm looking forward to it, but again I think let's address some of these other issues first and then um, and then come after me for some money. Now, um, as I mentioned in the second episode of this um, sort of sandbox play that we're doing here on this wonderful map, um, I have been having some problems with controllers from the get-go. Uh, ever since basically day one, um, I have I tried to set up my G27, my Logitech G27, exactly how I set it up for 15 and how I set it up for 17, and um, while I don't know everything that there is to know about this game, um, I will say that I'm fairly confident that I do know how to set up my G27 uh, and such for 15 and 17 because actually I recorded a video. It was one of the very first videos that I recorded uh, and put on YouTube was how to get your G27 and a joystick working together at the same time. And it's been quite a popular video and it still, get view, it still gets views to this day and um, so that's fantastic but I basically did the same thing that I did with 15 and 17 for 19 and got completely different results. Uh, I still to this day cannot launch this game and be able to turn my steering wheel without having to use superhuman strength to do so unless I first launch ATS or ETS2. If I launch ATS first, it frees up the tension on the steering wheel and then I can turn it with my pinky if I want to. Uh, I didn't have to do that with 15 and I didn't have to do that with 17 and I have everything set up identical to uh, how I had it before and if you remember um, back in talking about the patches at, that Giants has released um, there was a patch that was specifically released that was supposed to address controller support and I know that many of my friends, many of you who have the G27 or the G29 um, that resolved some of your issues however it did not resolve the issues for me. Now in the previous episode I believe I talked about uh, some of the problems that I've had with um, for example um, being able to view things in the shop and let me just sort of demonstrate this so if we pull up the shop and we go to uh, let's look at a tractor uh, actually let's look at this new 9 series John Deere if I pull this guy up I have not been able to basically rotate around um, the tractor and look at the backside that's as much as I can get it to view however um, I learned something relatively new uh, that if I put my shifter into neutral then I can spin my mouse around uh, by clicking on it and I can look at all angles of this tractor. Very cool. The same was an issue in trying to set a placeable. Um, I couldn't set the placeable unless I used my W, A, S, and D keys and that has also been resolved. Um, and it seems like it was a combination of two different things. One, uh, I need to make sure that my steering wheel is centered um, and I also need to make sure that my shifter is in neutral. Now, I never had to do that in 15 or 17. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping that um, maybe that's just a bug and they'll address that 
at some stage, maybe this magical uh, patch that's supposed to be coming in a short time tomorrow or in three weeks from now or whatever, uh, will address that. I don't know, but I guess for now I'm going to have to just uh, uh, remember to make sure that my cent that my wheel is centered and that my shifter is in neutral. Now the other problem that I'm having is with the terrain editing features. Um, that seems to still be uh, messed up. I still don't have it working, I think, the way that it's supposed to. But as I've said before, that's not that big of a deal because um, I am not that interested in it. I might put down a little bit of, of uh, pavement, uh, concrete, or something like that. I think I can probably limp along and do it that way just fine. But... Um, as far as doing a whole lot of terrain editing, leveling, smoothing, stuff like that, placing, um, you know, creating far, uh, my farms and everything, as I've mentioned, I will probably just kind of stick with uh, what these map uh, developers and everything uh, have come up with uh, in their own mind and just kind of go with that. So. Um, this is kind of going to be a short video as I weave and bobble all over the place again. I, I did a couple of rows and they were kind of straight and smooth, but I've kind of gotten off on this one here. And of course it might be a little easier if I had cultivated before, uh, before actually seeding uh, on this freshly plowed soil. Um, but hey, we're able to do that uh, with this particular seeder. And again, this is kind of uh, sandbox. So. Um, I hope everyone has a very wonderful uh, end of January. I'm not sure when you're going to see this video. I know that you're going to see episode number two um, tomorrow, actually Wednesday. That video will drop. This one will probably drop on Friday. And I think if um, my calendar uh, is right, I think Friday must be the first of February or something like that. So um, I hope that you all have a wonderful upcoming weekend and um, yes Friday is the first of February so I hope you all have a wonderful upcoming weekend I'm gonna put videos out basically as I have time uh, I'm not gonna try to stick to a schedule I'm not even gonna think about a schedule right now because uh, I'm still kinda busy with work and kinda busy with a few other things that's going on uh, in our lives and my my life and my wife's uh, life that's hard to say um, but hey, you are all on my mind, and uh, I've missed playing this game, and I've missed uh, interacting with you all, uh, both on my own Discord uh, server as well as over on the Simulation Gaming Society uh, Discord uh, server, and commenting, uh, you know, chatting with you and YouTube comments and stuff like that. And so, I hope to get back to some form of normal. Uh, very soon and I think that as more mods come out as course play gets better as we get follow me as GPS uh, some of the other things and of course seasons uh, comes out then obviously that just makes the game that much more fun uh, more enjoyable more true to life realistic all of that kind of stuff and it will I think suck me back in and to be quite honest while I've had a lot of different things that have been going on the last um, maybe month and a half two months since Thanksgiving really and truthfully I just never really I never really fell in love with 19 uh, I when I got back from Thanksgiving and I installed it I was disappointed and I was disappointed about how trashy Ravenport uh, looked. I was disappointed in my controller issues. I was disappointed in a lot of other things. And it's really just now taken me to a point to where that we finally got a very good uh, modded map here from Stevie. I absolutely love his maps. And that has kind of, that's sucking me back into... Uh, back into the game and so with that I'm going to say thank you all so much for watching please do uh, down below um, look at the link for the simulation gaming society uh, discord server come over there join that say hi to uh, myself Ducks Orley Gaming and Eustace Farmer the founders of simulation gaming society stop by say hello uh, leave a comment to this video let me know how you're doing uh, let me know how you're doing with your vir virtual farms so what you like about 19 what you uh, don't like about 19 maybe what your thoughts are on 
this whole DLC thing. I mean, I suppose it could be free, but uh, I just don't, I don't see, uh, I don't think free and giants uh, kind of goes uh, hand in hand. So uh, let me know what your thoughts are on that. Let me know what your thoughts are on just the state of, of uh, whatever. Hey, it's Super Bowl weekend coming up. So uh, let me know if maybe you're a Pats fan or if you're a Rams fan. I'm thinking I'm going to root for the Rams uh, on this one. I'm kind of an NFC kind of guy anyway. Uh, so I think I will probably root for the Rams. And, um, yeah, just uh, I think springtime is right around the corner. Hopefully I'm tired of freezing to death and I'm rambling. So I'm going to say thank you for watching. Good night all of you and please take care of yourself and also of each other and don't forget about those furry little critters uh, give them a hug and a kiss and a scratch on the head and maybe a special treat god bless you all we'll talk to you very soon bye bye